Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's webinar. Uh, I am Dr. Shawin Lin, representing Pharmacology Discovery Services to share with you our capabilities in in vivo pharmacology and the pharmacokinetic services. PDS is part of European Discovery. We are their partner lab. European Discovery offers a panel of uh, research capabilities, including chemistry, in vitro assays, safety efficacy, ADME toxicology, and the in vivo efficacy models. We can do in vivo PK services and the efficacy models at PDS. We are offering in vivo pharmacology expertise. We provide services in non-GOP safety, pharmacokinetics, efficacy studies in rodents. PDS offer more than 300 validated models that are ready to test your compound of interest. We are very collaborative and flexible to assist clients from study design to data delivery. We have a lot of experience and skills covering a broad range of different therapeutic area to provide animal model to test the efficacy of the compound. And we routinely provide custom in vivo models to meet specific project needs. Our facility is located in Taipei, Taiwan. We are ALAC accredited Bavarian lab. We, our operation is in compliance with Office of Laboratory Welfare Assurance. That is critical to win opportunity from projects supported by U.S. government grants. And our animal procedures are also in compliance with European animal welfare standard as well as Korean standards. The company operates in compliance with ISO 9001 certification. We have a facility larger than 15 meters square and with uh, more than 50 years of CRO experiences. We are known formally as Pen Labs. Currently, we have 40 employees. The average tenure is more than 10 years. We own biosafety lab, uh, level two labs. That's why we can perform uh, infective animal models. Currently, we have 27 animal holding rooms and 19 procedure rooms. With more than 300 efficacy PK and safety models, we cover antimicrobial models, CNS pen models, gastrointestinal, renal, inflammation, allergy, metabolic, as well as oncology efficacy models. We also can do in vivo PK and safety pharmacology at PDS. PDS has a lot of experience handling different types of test articles, including small molecules, biologics, cellular agents, bacterial phage, vaccines, liposome formulated, and nanoparticles. And we can administrate different dosing options that are common in animal models, including intradermal, intracerebral ventricular, intramuscular, intraperitoneal, intratracheal, intravenous, as well as subcutaneous topical dosing and vaginal dosing. We do short and long-term continuous IV infusion, and we always adjust our dosing schedule according to the study protocols. Not only can we uh, handle the in vivo animal studies, we also provide ex vivo analysis. We perform hematology, blood chemistry analysis, we can analyze surface intracellular protein by flow cytometry, and we can run bioanalysis to measure drug concentration in plasma or urine. And we do cytokine analysis using Luminex and protein and analysis using ELISA, as well as semi-quantitative protein uh, evaluation using Western blood. We can also measure RNA labels by using RT-PCR. And we outsource the histopathology work to our trusted lab. We have the stand slides reviewed by certified pathologists. Antimicrobial portfolio is our strongest um, therapeutic area covered at PDS. We have provided in vitro and in vivo services. 
for the in vitro services, we do minimal inhibitory concentration in MyCAC for more than 800 strains. We have a collection including 400 genomically correlated strains from CDA, CDC, and FDA isolate bank. We have multi-drug resistant clinical isolate. We can also do fungi, mold, and yeast studies. And our procedures meet with industry standard protocols. For antimicrobial colorization assays, we can do resistant emergence, healing kinetics, combination testing, bacterial cell lysis, and hemolysis assays. For in vivo models, we have a comprehensive portfolio of more than 100 models with CDC and WHO priority pathogens in immune suppressed and in the neutral panic animals. The endpoints are usually being the microbial counts in tissues or infection survival. The following table shows you the pathogens and infection models we have at PDS. I will use the uh, Marsa strain in wool healing model as an example to show you the data, the typical data and protocols we provide to the clients. In a brief summary of the protocols, you can find the strain we use in this model, USA 300, and a brief study procedures, including the animal strain, the gender, the body weight, and the inoculant count, and how we perform the wood puncture and the treatment per length frequency and how we do the uh, tissue homogenation and how we measure the bacteria counts in the brief protocol. In a typical data figure, we have we provide two endpoints for this study, including the bacteria counts and wood closure. On the figure in the uh, in the figure on the right and the, on the left, we can see the uh, bacteria counts in vehicle treated animals from uh, day one to day 14, and the drug treated animals, the pathogen counts from day uh, at 26 hours after inoculation to day 14. It shows the mu p growth significantly suppressed the infections in this model. And the the other endpoints, the wood closure, we can see the antibiotics did not accelerate the wood closure in this model. And please note that at around day 14, the wood closure in this model reached 90%. Therefore, we also offer another more sensitive uh, wood infection model in diabetic mice which is more clinically relevant. As you can see in the picture here, on day five, the animals have very severe infection. The wood size become bigger compared to the original puncture. And on day 14, the wood closure reached around 15%. That gives us, us a larger dynamic window to access if a drug has wood healing, plus wood healing effect in such model. And the benefit of, of this model is this is a common issue in diabetic patients, the, the slow wood healing processes. So it's a very good model we provide at PDS. And another popular portfolio we offer at PDS is inflammation, allergy, metabolic in vivo models. We cover autoimmune disease, animal models, including arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, cirrhosis, and lupus. And for dermal inflammation, we have a topic and contact dermatitis. Highlight in green star here indicates popular models that we perform maintenance in a year at PDS. The dust mite induced topic dermatitis is very popular. And for cirrhosis model, the IMQ induced models are uh, frequently requested and conducted at PDS. And we also have the delay type hypersensitivity models. For the digestive systems, we offer uh, gastric irritation, the NASH model, and the TMBS induced colitis models. And I know some of the uh, participants today are interested in NASH models, so I will use it as an example to share. 
And for the respiratory system, we offer allergy and OVA-induced asthma, LPS-induced COPD models, and the bleomycin-induced lung fibrosis model is also a very popular model and frequently conducted at PDS. And we also have obesity models induced by high fat diet. For the renal failure, we have the acute and chronic ischemia reperfusion model. Other models such as MILES assay, that's a VGF-induced vascular permeability assay conducted in Guinea Peak. It can be used to test the effect of the anti-VGF. For the NASH model, uh, this one we use the choline deficient amino acid defined high fat diet to induce um, NASH in um, animals. The endpoints we we'll offer for these animals include the serum ALT, AST, and liver body weight ratio. As shown in the graph here, the elevation of ALT and AST indicate liver injury. And at as early as week two, we can see the diet can induce a significant elevation of these liver enzymes and emitration of a uh, positive control, which is a PIPA gamma agonist, pyroglitosome, reduce the uh, liver enzyme elevation significantly from week two to week 12. And similarly, for liver weight to body weight ratio, the part control also significantly reduce the increase induced by the diet. And oftentimes, uh, fibrosis needs to be examined by histopathology. Therefore, we also offer histopathology analysis that will be reviewed by certified pathologists in a collaborator's lab. We can stain the sections liver with hemotoxin and eosin to illustrate the tissue structure and Mason's trichrome MT stain, which uh, stain the collagen. That's a, a indicative of, of fibrosis process. As shown on the right analysis figure here with HE stain, we can identify the statosis by different score and generate a scoring uh, result as evaluated by the pathologist. And we can uh, show the lobular inflammation, hepatocyte, cellular blooming uh, disease state in these animals after uh, treating with the test compound. For the MT stain, we can score the fibrosis. And then overall NASH plus fibrosis score can be provided to evaluate the overall effect of the drug in such model. Similar to other preclinical CROs, we also offer oncology models. The typical models, including the human cell light derived xenograph models in immunodeficient mice and the syndromic models with immortalized mouse cancer lines in immunocompetent animals. For example, uh, using the human leukemia cell line HL6 injected uh, subcutaneously to the back of the mice, we can measure the tumor volume over time with the positive control used in this study, mitomycin, it shows a significant reduction of the tumor size in this model. And what is shown on the right here is a typical uh, uh, overview of our models that can be found in the website and in such link. And in this uh, brief overview, we uh, the summary of procedures can be found and a typical turn around time is also available. And using the similar, uh, the same cell line, we can also do IV injection to create a disseminated disease model and the endpoint is animal survival. In addition, we can do a flow cytometry analysis of the percentage of human CD45 positive cells in this model to it evaluate drug efficacy. This year, we offer a new model, MC30i Syngenia model. This cell line is very unique. It responds very well to T-cell checkpoint uh, therapies, as shown on the figure here, using the anti-CTLA4, pd one and PD-1 antibodies. Uh, the 
tumor size was reduced significantly compared to untreated animals. And the last animal uh, efficacy models we offer at PDS, but not the least, is the PEM in vivo models. We actually have a very comprehensive PEM models uh, thanks to our uh, experienced technical director, Linda. And we have uh, been offering acute inflammatory and neuropathic PEM models at PDS for many years, including post-operative PEM, formerly induced PEM, the visceral PEM, uh, induced by acetic acid and the PQ. For the neuropathic pens, we have a nerve ligation model, trunk and banana model. Also, we can use the chemotherapy compounds such as Taxo and oxaloplatin to induce the peripheral neuropathy in rats. Alongside, we also have efficacy models such as depression induced by force swing or an analysis of uh, animals' anxiety state using the elevated water maze or a seizure induced by chemical or electrical shock. We also offer side effect profiling in the local motor activity, animals coordination, and drug tolerance and withdrawal. We offer the axioplatin uh, induced neuropathic pain uh, this year, and this is a typical result uh, shown in such a model uh, with six in inducer injection with acetylplatin in rats. After 17 days, we can induce a hypersensitivity of, to mechanical stimuli in these animals. And for example, using a well-known painkiller, gabapentin, in this model, as soon as two hours after uh, gabapentin administration, the animals has reduced threshold to mechanical stimuli provided by bone frame mammal filament. And in additionally, we can also use a code Alodinia method uh, applying acetone to assess animals' response to cold sensation. To better support the efficacy studies, we offer PQ services PDS. We can do PK uh, service in mouse, rats, hamster, guinea pig. We can collect whole blood, plasma, biophysis, urine, and tissue homogenate. In a standard PK setup, we can do intravenous oral garbage administration of compounds in three animals per time points, totally eight time points. If the test article supply is limited, we can do mini PK using two animals per time point, six time points totally. And we can help client to identify the solubility of the compounds in the solution and measure the concentration using LCMS-MX. And often time clients would like to know the maximum tolerate dose of the compound before they decide on the doses they want to use in the efficacy study. So we also can do that at PDS. Once the client is satisfied with the PK and the efficacy results, they would like to know uh, some pre preliminary toxicology uh, study results for their test articles. So we also offer repeat those toxicology studies for seven and 14 days at PDS to assess clinical science, hematology, blood chemistry, urine analysis, and histopathologies. We also offer safety pharmacology evaluations, including modified urban tests, which evaluate animals' um, neurological, autonomic, and physical states. And we often offer custom assays to clients. For, so for toxicology studies, we have experience in renal tox. And we can also assess GI side effects at PDS. Our clients include US government, small and large biotech, academia researchers, and big pharma. We have been offering services to National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Disease, part of the US NIH supported grant for many years. We are currently in the fourth year, fourth year contract at the moment that indicates we provide quality data 
in compliance with the animal wear and procedure operation, and we have been able to provide a report format suitable for the government review. If you are interested in our animal models, you can simply go to the website or go to the Google and type in pharmacologydiscoveryservices.com. In the search box, you can key in the keyword or model you are interested in, and you can find our uh, one-page protocol or simplified information about our animal operation procedures and the typical data uh, on your own from the website. If you cannot find those information, please, please feel free to contact us. We have different sales representative support clients in different regions. We have Nicholas and Tom, Tony support the North America and Ricardo support Europe and myself, Shawen support all the clients in the EPIC region. A unique feature of PDS is that we have very experienced technical directors responsible for their area and support the, each study. We have Linizo. She is very experienced, has been with the PDS for almost two decades, is an expert in infectious disease. And we have Linda supporting the pain and safety studies and Jimmy Bao responsible for the inflammation, metabolic, GI and renal animal models. And all three of them are based in the US and Ken Shen and myself are supporting the PK and neurodegenerative migraine model, which are new models currently under development at PDS. We, both of us are based in Taiwan. For the operation side, we have Dr. Ken Shen as our lab director, uh, oversee the business and the lab operation in Taiwan side. And we have four study directors, Lucy responsible for the antimicrobial, Wen responsible for CNS pen, PK and safety. Tai Yu is responsible for the gastrointestinal inflammation and the metabolic studies. And Pony is the expert for our oncology studies. And thank you for your attention. I would like to take any questions you may have.